So Michael asked me yesterday about the forward bends and whether or not he should use a strap, which is a very common question. It's a very good question. I'm glad he asked. Here's the thing. In the forward bend, if you grab a strap to try to go forward a little bit more or whatever, um, what you would do is put it there and see how I'm already tempted to grab it hard and force something. That's my issue with the strap, the tendency or the desire to force to go forward and let's face it to show off because I'm a bit of a show off. What happens when I remove it and really don't even think about it, I don't own one, that's a gift from my um, stepdaughter and it's a nice um, handkerchief rather than a strap. If you sit already with the separating the flesh, making sure that the tailbone is going into the floor, making sure the thighs are engaged, the feet are flexed as if you had a wall in front of you, then already you're engaging all of the legs and you're getting much more of the benefit. Then if you straighten the back and put your hands next to your back as if they were pillars, oh my God, I'm already feeling the heat. I am already in a forward bend. Believe it or not. Now, if I breathe deeply in, chest expands, head relax, and exhale, engaging the perineum, lifting up the energy of the abdomen by sucking it in, I'm already working very hard. If from here on the inhale, I lengthen the back with the shin parallel to the floor and start walking just a tiny little bit, and exhale with a straight back this is a fantastic forward bend and this is real I'm not pushing I'm not using any extra tools it's portable yoga I can do it anywhere I don't need any tools now I'm gonna breathe one more time and uh, lengthen the back and exhale a little bit more and here is my edge suppose this was it this is beautiful you just breathe it here for five to ten counts this is the first step. You have right alignment and you have right breathing. So you're already working much better than if you had a strap within the confines of your own body. This is important to remember. The other thing to remember, number two, is that there is no end to this asana because where is the end to the forward bend? Is it here? Or is it here? And notice how my um, back is already bending. Or is it when I grab my food? Or is it when I grab my wrists? Or is it when I go all the way? Or is it when I go in between the legs and there is a joke somewhere in there, I know. So there is no end to the asana, it's a process. So if you just put the pillars, breathe, exhale, breathe into your edge. And then the last thing you can do is when you find your edge, drop the head and let gravity help you and breathe here for a long, long period of time and then you're completely engaged on the forward bend. For those of you who've been thinking about using a strap, if you want to use it, go ahead. Just make sure you know, you're aware of these things and see what is it exactly that you're doing with the strap. Okay. Now, let me give you a third tip and this is mind-blowing. If you get a person to help you, say you get to here, and someone holds your hand, and from the other side, because they're sitting here, they touch your feet. So you're holding their hand and they're touching your feet. The mind cannot tell that the hand touching the feet is not yours. It will begin to get the idea that you're the kind of person that can touch your feet. So it's a way of faking it till you make it, yoga style, forward bend style, and then you can get the mind to help you in the process. You need a partner for that. So anyways, I love questions. Thanks, Michael, for asking. I hope you enjoy the seated forward bend because it has enormous benefits, calming the mind, uh, relaxing, and rejuvenating the internal organs by massaging them, and in general, giving you a good disposition in life. Enjoy the day. Namaste.